How are you all? Worm here. Patch 5.3, Reflections in Crystal, is almost upon us, releasing on August 11th, adding tons of new content. Here's your list of things to get done before it hits to fully enjoy it. The main story quest will continue in 5.3. Developers have stated this will serve as the closing of the Shadowbringers main storyline, so be sure to get fully caught up on your main story quest to fully enjoy the conclusion. Importantly, to be able to accept the new main story quests, you will be required to have completed the level 50 Crystal Tower quest chain, which involves the Alliance Raids of a Realm Reborn. I will leave a link in the description with this information. Also of note, after 5.3, that quest chain will become mandatory. Devs have also reported this will be the largest amount of main story quests and cutscenes ever added in a patch, so set plenty of time aside to immerse yourself. I already have my calendar marked off, and my phone will definitely be off. The next stage in the Chronicles of a New Era will also be released, including a new trial fight. Be sure to get caught up in this and bring down the ruby weapon before 5.3 to jump in right away on what should be a new and exciting fight. I personally can't wait. We finally get the second alliance raid of Shadowbringers, which we've all been waiting for. Call it the Puppets Bunker. It's a continuation of the storyline from the first alliance raid, the Copied Factory, in the near FF14 crossover series. Be sure to get your clear of the Copied Factory prior to 5.3 to get stuck right in. We are getting a lot of new gear and glamours in this raid, which FF14 fans, and Nier fans in particular, won't want to miss. A major part of this patch is the changes being made to our Realm Reborn areas. Specifically flying will be introduced into our Realm Reborn zones. So most zones had to be redesigned and improvements added to compensate. This isn't something you need to prepare for, but I recommend taking your tour of these zones one last time before everything changes, as you will see them after August 11th in a whole new light. The main story quest of A Realm Reborn will also be condensed in some parts and removed in others, as part of SE's improvements to streamline the questing process of A Realm Reborn to Heavensward, which is a big hurdle for new players. This isn't what you can prepare for either, but if you're in the middle of them you might want to pick up the pace before the narrative changes. 5.3 also introduces the first Unreal difficulty trial to the game. This will be above extreme in difficulty. The trial will be a revamp of the original Shiva trial from A Realm Reborn, with an increased level cap to 80, and also a revamp of mechanics to make it stand apart from the original. If you plan to take part, get your best job ready, and gear it up as best you can. This is going to be a good one. These are the main things in 5.30 you need to prepare for. However, the 5.3x series has other important and major features being released not long after August 11th that you need to do some preparation for. In patch 5.31, not long after 5.3, we get the next stage of the restoration of Ishgard, which will involve new crafting and gathering challenges, with the reward of new unique titles which are different from the ones in the restoration before. If you're planning to take part, get your best crafter or gatherer job ready before this patch hits. A major release in 5.35 will be for our resistant weapons, aka our relic weapons. The next stage of development of these weapons will begin which involves a whole new system that takes place in a newly added battlefield, Bojan's Southern Front. All you need to prepare for this is to complete the short questline for its first stage that's already in game, and claim your resistant weapon of choice, and any others you might want to pick up so that you'll be ready to develop them when it begins in patch 5.35. This content is a major focus of the 5.3x series of patches, and is something you for sure do not want to miss or start late. Best to get on it right as it releases to have an easier time of it. And that's the list of what you need to prepare for. There's so much content releasing in the 5.3x series that I haven't even mentioned it all, but there's no real way to prepare for them in advance. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm breaking into new types of content as I work hard to discover my YouTube style. If you enjoyed this video or found any of the info useful, please leave a like or a comment, and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of them. Also check out my channel for more FF14 videos. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in patch 5.3.